My name is Nova, and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey, where I turn hype sneakers into riches. Got some new bounces dropping in about a couple of minutes. I had a lot of trouble getting my new balance spot to work. Hi, ha. Huh? I don't know what's really going on. Let's hope I cop something because I'm honestly a little bit lost. I hit two on Valor and I hit one on uh, Prism. Let's go. I was not expecting that. Two more carded. Another hit. And another one. Valor going off. Um, I wonder how many of these are gonna get canceled though. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully none. The profit on these, the new bounces that I got were really good. Yeah, so the sizes I got, uh, five and a half and six and a half. Okay, not bad. So I managed to get another checkout on Kids Foot Locker for new balance this time in size six and no cancels. So super happy about that. Okay, I am currently on my way to my other address, gonna pick up some shoes from there. But it is the first of the month, so we, what we do have to talk about is the idea that I need to pay all of my subscriptions again, being that usually services are like in 30 day billing periods. So yeah, gotta pay for groups, subscriptions, proxies that are gonna renew. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to my expense list. All right, here they are. Not a crazy amount, but uh, I'm gonna unbox. I have no idea what this is. We're gonna find out together. Oh, oh my God, these are so nice. Barbershop dunks. All right, so these are basically the stuff that I picked up. These things are actually amazing. Supreme Air Force Ones. And of course, PlayStation 5 Horizon bundle thingy mabob, the digital one. So I woke up this morning to check on the prices of the new balances that I copped yesterday. Yesterday they were $220 around there. Today they are around $140 on StockX. What the heck happened? How did the prices go so low so fast? I know it's simple supply and demand, but still I find it very, very shocking. Although I'm not that worried about it, I'm still gonna make money from each pair because number one, I'm not gonna use StockX. Number two, I don't think these are gonna be bad holds. Every time I held 550s, it basically paid off, especially for the base sizes, which are the sizes that I got. But anyways, earlier today, I copped six Jordan 1 lows in the GS sizes. I was thinking about going for the men's pairs as well. However, I'm not a thousand percent confident in my ability to resell those for a profit because the retail price for those are $130. Meanwhile, the GS pairs are $100. I feel like that's a much safer cop. So yeah, uh, pretty happy with what I got today. The release calendar came out for next week's releases. Man, this week is looking dry. I really hope that more things start to get scheduled for this week like those short notice drops otherwise i'm gonna have to like try to flip other items you can't really rely on sneakers uh not something that i would advise anyone to do to begin with basically you want to try to take advantage of all of the resources that you have being that you are paying a monthly fee for all your bots proxies and stuff so you might as well try to make as much money from those as possible so yeah we're just gonna have to see what upcoming releases i go for next so we got a box that arrived today. Let's see what it is. However, hopefully this isn't an issue. The box looks suspiciously taped together. I don't know. Let's uh, let's see what this is. Oh God. 
got this huge line across the box. Probably not a big deal, but oh, that's just a crease. I thought it was a cut. Never mind. Got a little bit scared for a second, not gonna lie. Box and inside we have Jordan 4 Military Blacks. Beautiful shoe. I was actually thinking of keeping one of these for myself when these first released, but it got too many personals. So I decided not to. Um, yeah, not sure where I'm gonna sell this. Probably eBay. That's been my go-to throughout the series. So I'm gonna list these today. I sold these barbershop dunks on eBay yesterday, so I'm gonna go ahead and fulfill this now. Also, we do have some packages that came in, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. All right, here they are. Let's see what's inside. New Balance shoes. Oh my gosh, these are freaking amazing. All right, so we got three of these beauties that came in. I'm gonna be listing two of these on eBay, and for the third one, I'm actually gonna put it up on Grailed. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can get a little bit more payout on that one. I don't know, I feel like this would be the type of shoe that would go pretty well with that platform. We'll see what happens. Today we have a pair of Jordan 1 mids dropping on Nike and we have some New Balances dropping. These releases are fairly low profit drops, however, profit is profit, so we're gonna go for them. Oh, I have one carded. No way. Two carded. Three carded. Yes! I got one. Two. Another one. Is that it? Man, flip side drops are hard. Holy crap. Yo, I hit seven mids. I didn't even know. Let's go. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I was able to sell these Jordan 4s on eBay. Unfortunately though, I realized that I might have priced it a little bit too low. This is a size 11 and a half, which is an extremely good size, but I don't know why I priced it. I, I think I was just in a rush making my listing, but it's all good. Still a pretty decent profit, so I'm gonna try to get this out today. So uh, the Obey poster came in today, however, there is a slight bit of a problem. I believe inside of this is a packing slip, usually containing like personally identifying information and I basically don't wanna dox myself if on the off chance I sell this to somebody that actually knows who I am. So, I'm new to buying artwork, so I don't know if it would count as undessing if I open this. I. I really have no idea because I know, for example, coins. Usually when you open it, it's like instantly worth less. But uh, I'm not sure if that's the case for here, but my personal information is more valuable than $300. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I'm not sure if that this is the right move. I would feel so stupid if I open this and the packing slip isn't even in here because then I would have done it for no reason. But um, uh, whatever, whatever. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Oh my God. This is it. Where's a packing slip, dude? I'm scared. It's taped, okay, okay. What the f Oh, I saw this and I thought like it's ruined. But this is not the actual artwork. It was, uh, I believe it's inside. Okay, I'm gonna stop messing around with it. Where's the packing slip? It's not there. <laughs> oh, I really hope it's not in here, like wrapped inside. 
Dude, what am I doing? I'm really bad at like unwrapping things. So, I mean, I'm at rewrapping things rather. So uh, I hope I don't mess this up. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, it's not in, I don't think it's in there. I don't think it's in there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close it back up. Okay, I hope it fits again. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Please. Oh my God, it doesn't, it doesn't. It's cause I unraveled it. Okay. <sighs> I did it. And I feel like an idiot for doing this. This was totally not required. Anyways, I sold my pair of orange Paisley Dunks on eBay. So I'm gonna try to get that out by today. Additionally, these shoes came in the mail. The New Balances and the Jordan 1s are going to be going on eBay. I should have no issues selling these for a profit. On the other hand, we started to get some shipping confirmations for the Unions. I wanted to wait before putting these in my inventory list because Union is notorious for canceling pairs. And in fact, a few of my orders did get canceled. However, I believe around five or six, I'm not really sure actually ended up shipping and this is the first one that ended up in my hands now the shoe itself honestly it's not bad and the box also very very nice however these are gonna be a problem not the good type of problem i don't know some sneakerheads say oh these are gonna be a problem and usually that's a good thing so basically this is a brick that i'm gonna have to try and find some way to sell for a profit um, or at the very least get my money back. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Hopefully I'm able to do it. Can't believe it. I actually sold a New Balance 550 for $210 on Grailed. The problem is this customer is in Australia and I don't know how much the shipping is going to cost. So. We're gonna find out together. I hope it's not a lot because I know grailed fees, uh, they're generally higher than eBay. I don't know, we're gonna figure out how much the shipping is gonna cost uh, before we find out how much my total payout is gonna be. So calculate rates. Mm. <laughs> that is stupid expensive. Okay, I guess I don't have a choice. 46.50? Damn. I wonder how much money I'm actually gonna make from this sale. So after selling fees, I'm gonna get $180.13. Now we subtract the shipping cost. My total payout is $133.68. Now let me check how much I paid for these shoes. $119.76. Okay. Okay, that's that's not good. That's way better than selling on StockX. Additionally, we have more boxes that came in. However, we're gonna have to save that for the next episode.